Another awesome establishment right here in Lake Charles, Louisiana, and I'll be hanging out with co-owner Amanda. Today, she's gonna be telling me all the awesome details of Sloppy's Downtown. So let's go check it out. It's Shaylin and I'm here with Amanda, co-owner of Sloppy Taco and Sloppy's Downtown. And we're here in Sloppy's Downtown today to talk about the establishment and how it came to be. So Sloppy Taco is like a local taco place, which is the bomb. <laughs> I love it. But what's the difference between Sloppy Taco and Sloppy Downtown? And how did Sloppy's Downtown come to be? Sure. Um, so Sloppy Taco was my husband, Brett. It was like his little baby dream. Um, and we tried it out at Live the Lakefront. It was a huge hit. Bought the food truck. Um, that was a huge hit. Uh, had, to, had to buy a restaurant, actually. You have to have a brick and mortar really? to support a food truck. Okay. Yep. How did I know? Yep, there you go. <laughs> um, well, and so they opened that place on Alamo that's a commissary, and that's what it's for. It's to support food trucks. Okay. Um, and at the time, they didn't have a, you know, public commissary. Um, so Sloppy Taco on Kirkland Street happened next mm -hmm. to support the food truck, um, and that was January of 2016. Um, so then January of 2017, we opened Sloppy's Downtown, um, and originally the plan was that we were going to relocate Sloppy Taco. We thought that this place would have been really cool, um, tacos and a bar, and uh, it would have been real fun, um, but we weren't able to do that. Um, so we had to make a choice, you know, do we not use this fabulous space yeah. for anything or do we make it something really cool yeah um, so we went the really cool route and um, that's that's the jam okay so when you decided to go ahead and just utilize the space for something different what was what was y'all's inspiration as far as what Sophie's downtown is today sure as far as the whole vibe and yeah menu? um so we wanted to try to stick to because sabi taco is is fusiony and it's i think that people really like street food yeah for sure you know what i mean that that sort of experimental evolving menu that comes along with a food truck i think people really appreciate it um and so that was the idea but as far as the menu for this place like something kind of street foody, fusion-y. I mean, not, we're not saying that it's Cajun, we're not saying that it's Mexican or Italian. Yeah. It's You're gonna get some sort of combination of all of those things. Which I really love. I love trying new things. I think that that's something unique that Southeast Downtown brings to the area. It's just a variety of different things you could try yeah. that you normally wouldn't get at any of the other establishments. Sure, here. right. Recently we started doing specials, which is a lot of fun. Um, so Tuesdays is, oh, Brett does like a, raised beef medley of some yeah. sort. Um, so like last week we did oxtail. Mm. Um, yeah, and it's real good, good real good. Um, and then Wednesdays are a mystery meal. Yeah, which so I had one. It was a scallops and it oh, had like right, a right, beef right. and goat cheese yeah. salad in it. Right. Bye -bye. Okay. Um, and then I think this past week he did uh, chicken and dumplings, which mm. was because it was cold. Yeah, that's um, perfect. Yeah, and then Thursdays is red bean and rice, and then Fridays is ramen. <laughs> it's the best. so good. Um, and people are really enjoying it. Like, we have people that come in here just for the specials, yeah. you know, whatever it is. Because he always does something random and weird. You know, even like with the chicken and dumplings, he put mm -hmm. chicken wings in oh, there. That is cool. And it was delicious. Yeah. Um, we made the, the, the dumplings from scratch, so they were really good. Everything, I mean, it's just worth it. And he likes that. He likes to be creative. Yeah. Um, change the menu, throw something else in there. That's fun. So that keeps it interesting. I think so too. So speaking of special, okay. there's something 
special <laughs> that y'all do that no one else is doing right now, which is a Saturday brunch. Yes. And I mean, here in the South, brunch is like a huge thing. It's a thing. So. It's a thing. It's a huge thing. Yeah. And well, um, <laughs> Sundays, I mean, we're open on Sundays yeah. for a little while. We don't necessarily do a brunch, but I, you see Luna and Blue Dog and Tia's, like they all kill it on Sundays. Yeah, they do well. Um, and actually, so the Saturday brunch is something really funny. It's one of my favorite stories. Um, my husband and I, whenever we were dating, um, he took me the first December that we were together um, for my birthday. He brought me and a big group of my friends to Cafe Des Amis in Burbridge. Oh, yeah. So they were out for breakfast. Yeah. Um, so I remember like they woke me up super early and like I was like, what is going on? This is stupid. Nobody wants to be awake this early. It's Saturday. <laughs> um, Anyway, so we went to Bro Bridge and we did Zydeco breakfast and it was so much fun. And then we carried on the tradition. So for like 10 years, every year for my birthday, except for one because I was pregnant. Oh. But every other year, you know, like we went to Cafe Days on Me for my birthday. That's so fun. I know. Yeah. So whenever we opened this place, he was like, I have all these great ideas and I'm going to do this and that. And I was like, can we do Zydeco oh. breakfast? So that's cool. You know? And yeah. um, he was like, how about brunch? Because breakfast is really early. And I was like, okay. Um, so that's where, like, the whole Zydeco brunch thing started. And then everybody's doing Sunday. So we're like, let's do Saturday instead. There you go. Um, and we love it. Yes. Um, I love it. I, I'm we, trying to come as often as I can. <laughs> us too. I mean, it is, it is at, at this point, I can say that it is a huge success. We have a brunch menu, of course. And yeah. the food is phenomenal and also in the same sense experimental um some traditional some you know i say traditional i mean like other tripping grits yeah you know people do that we do a goat cheese grits right and i like it shrimp mm -hmm. it's good yeah it's good so it's a spin on you know yeah. Traditional thing. I think my favorite spin on the menu is the the beignet boudin balls. Boudin beignets. It's kind of like boudin beignets. There we go. Like, it's kind of like a I don't know two traditional things like mushed together yeah. and goodness I can hurt myself <laughs> on those. Yeah, they're well people favorite. it's so funny to see because some people will like point at it and they're like oh, I'm not so sure <laughs> like <Get> them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I think they get confused with like the real, you know, uh, spicy Cajun and then like sweet, huh? What? Where? Oh, just, it's Syrup, perfect. powdered sugar. <laughs> yeah. So you have that real like tempura batter, which mm -hmm. is the beignet part, and then powdered sugar and syrup. And it's phenomenal. And then another thing that I'm addicted to, but I always have to make sure I bring someone with me to help me eat it, is the crawfish pot pie. Yes. Like, yeah, come good. on. It's ridiculous. It's, it's huge. Okay. <laughs> but it's so good. Yeah. I love whatever. It's like a cream sauce yeah. on the inside. Mm -hmm. And the egg on top is probably my favorite thing on it. Sure. Yeah. So we start, I mean, that's another thing that we start from scratch. Patrick is amazing. Patrick, you're amazing. Um, <laughs> he comes in every morning and he makes all of our all, all of our bread yeah. from scratch. Pizza dough, um, the bread for the sliders, etc. But the crawfish pot pie as well. Um, so he makes that from scratch and it makes it's a creamy crawfish sauce. Yeah. Um, baked uh, sunny sun up egg on top, a little bit of cheese and some ramelade. Mm -hmm. I love it, man. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I agree. So, I mean, really, you guys, if you have not been to the Zydeco brunch here at Sauber Town Town, you need to make your way because it's a thing. Like, it's a thing. Saturday brunch in here, it's awesome. It's from the food. Packed. It's packed with people, good conversation, dancing. awesome drinks, yeah. and the dancing. I mean, I have two feet, two left feet. When it comes to Zydeco dancing, I mean, I could dance, but when it comes to Zydeco, I can't figure it out, y'all. Somebody help me, but. Hey, but we do Two Step Tuesdays, too. This is true. We do that once a month, um, and the way it works is we do like a one hour Zydeco dance lesson, Yeah. and then <clears throat> we feed you. So you get the dance class plus a surprise meal, for 30 bucks a person. That is awesome. All of these great things y'all do, you know, not just as I to go brunch and like you mentioned the Two Step Tuesdays. Throughout the week, y'all are booked all the tons time. We have tons of stuff going on, live music, you have different game nights. Sure. You have art, local artists do their pop-up yep. sales here. Yeah. I just really want to commend y'all for that because that's something totally cool to be able to just Turn around and support the community sure. and other people that are here in the SWLA. I, I think that's that awesome. one of the things that separates my husband and I from everyone else, not to say that we're, you know, we're just different oh in, the sense, awesome. in the sense in the sense that Brett's a musician. Yeah. He's played music all his life. And I'm an artist. I used to be an art teacher. 
Um, so like we get it, you know, we, we, we get that an outlet or a place that supports you in, in your, in your art, yeah. whatever that is. Um, like if there's any two people in the world who get it, it's, it's the two of us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so whenever we started bringing in all the local artwork and, and people that are like, hey, you know, I do photography, can I have this, your space for this thing? And we're like, yes. Yeah. You know, or Clark in the pop-up shop. Clark in the pop-up shop. They had such a great yeah. time. Um, they had a great turnout. Yes. Um, and totally, yeah. Like, yeah. Of course we support all of those things. And so it's not just, you know, them <laughs> having their pop-ups here, but you also display artwork on the walls that it are is. for sale. And I think that's really cool. Yep. How does that work? I mean, they can just hang in and whoever wants to just grab it and like pay, pay for it. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. that is and then we do, it's 100% commission free. So if you have, if it's wow. an artist that has a $200 price tag on it, they get 200 bucks. We're not going to take anything from them. That um, is, it's a, it helps us. That's you know, we have us. beautiful yeah. art on our walls thanks to yeah. local artists. And I mean, <laughs> it just adds to the collective vibe in here, just to see all the artwork, especially to say that it's artwork from SWL mm -hmm. region. I mean, I feel like everything that y'all touch is just kind of just a, a gold, <laughs> gold for the community oh, here. So thanks. it's great. Thanks. I like it. And well, it's fun. It is fun. And I really appreciate you meeting up with me today to talk Absolutely. about this downtown. And it's of course, awesome. I'll be around. It's one of my favorite places to hang out whenever I have I know where to Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. So until next time. Cheers. Yes.